What's up? It's me again. I got no sleep again, but I can't lie, I was being productive, which is bad because I'm being productive late, etc. But yeah, I, I uploaded like 15 videos scheduled for the next 15 days, and I'm very happy about it because now I'm, I'm seeing progress, you know, 15 days worth of content, and I got 40 more videos on the way. I got, I could actually just upload more now, but of them on the SD card, and I'll do one record videos on the way as well, just add to the pile. But yeah, like, when it comes to grinding, bro, I think the best way to grind is to grind and tell absolutely nobody. Straight up. I think telling anyone you're grinding, it will just inspire, um, how do you say this, force, like a, not necessarily a, a false sense of security, a force, like, no, no, a fo that's, a, that's just a separate thought. It will inspire jealousy, hatred, envy, all these types of things. And although I would say they are good emotions, like I previously stated before, they are good emotions if you, you know, project them towards something positive, like being productive. However, if you don't project them towards something, or you, how do I say this? You use them as fuel to uh, to be productive. And, you know, if you and if you don't use them as fuel to be productive, and you're just jealous, envious, and hate hateful, then you will effectively wasting your energy. You know. All emotion, like all, any emotion you feel to a strong extent, is a very, very strong, important fuel in order for you to use as fuel to change your life and be productive. And that's why I say, like, jealousy, envy, hatred, hatred is good. But we, we, us, with people watching my videos and people that are my fans, I could say, I know you guys are gonna be here, but when I'm big, me and watching this own video, yeah, but my fans and my people and my my friends that are within the self improvement space, we don't get jealous of people that are higher than us. We admit the truth and we try to seek and move beyond. I mean, like, we think to ourselves, yeah, I'm going to surpass you, yeah, I'm going to surpass you, yeah, I'm going to surpass you. But like, a lot of people, like normal people, will feel jealous, angry, and hateful, and then their emotions will be directed at you, and those emotions will be just wasted, energy will be wasted. And that's why I say, like, Never ever show your grind. Only show the results after you've made it massively. So it, you have like this godlike aura. The godlike aura. Of, oh my god! An overnight success. Because if they've seen you grind, 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 and then you become successful, it honestly it could go both ways. They can be immensely, immensely inspired, but and then immensely, immensely demotivated. Because like you've been grinding for years, you made a bunch of failures. It's been three years and you grind and you finally made your first fifty thousand pounds a month and you're fucking successful. It was fifty times twelve, that's sixty six hundred grand. You make six hundred grand a year and you're living in Dubai now, you should get you get you pay no tax, six hundred liquid, you have the fuck you want, you're the boss, you're a top G <laughs> right. You're a CEO. Oh my si oh my fucking god. <laughs> then my train of thought would be railed a bit there, but I'll continue because my recording shut because my video my battery went low Jesus Christ so annoying but his battery's full so we'll be chilling for the next half an hour 45 minutes yeah when you're the top G you're the boss when you're that you're that guy it's very very difficult then to be like oh, oh man I thought my thought my thought my train of thought really got fucked up bro just the thing let me just retrace my thoughts uh, this is an exercise I do often to retrain my thoughts and train my memory. Okay, so friends get jealous of you, they see you grind. Friends get jealous of you anyway, they see you overnight success. They think, you know, it's luck, etc, etc. And then you remind them of all the years of grinding, a bit, but they will never understand. Like, you could, you know, you're a top G, you're in Dubai now, you're living that life. You're in a nice apartment, you're in a fantastic, phenomenal shape. Like, like I said every single time, you're living a very good life because you deserve it. Okay, there's two ways. Two ways. More the majority of people react to this, and then if anyone would be inspired by you, they will be inspired by you, irregardless. Anyone that's like on the come up to be successful, you can tell if they're gonna be inspired by you. Like, oh, boy, I should be like you. Even if they still see you grind, they're gonna respect that. And if they still see you grind, they're gonna respect that even more. But that was uh, those. That was. I don't say. But I'm gonna say that and those. But I'm fucked up. But those are a small minority of people. They're like. For example, this is like, this is like 100%, right? These two fingers, they're like here. A small gap in the middle, like here. Those are the amount of people that will be impressed and like inspired and be motivated and disciplined. And it is, it's like you'll ignite a fuel in them. Not you'll ignite um, a fire in them. 
and that fire that they your success will be the fuel for their success. So it's like it's that it's like that, right? But the majority of people right here, you're successful, they see you grind, you're successful, they don't see you grind, they'll be bitter, they'll be jealous, they'll be demotivated, they'll hate you, they'll resent you, they'll act like a weird I mean, oh, he's obsessed with money, but rich people are this, or rich people are that. Oh, Jimmy's changed, and that's like the majority of the thing because it majority of people are rash because it highlights their insecurities. It makes them feel inadequate. Like they think themselves, yeah, I knew this guy, but now he's an ultra successful. Like what did I do with my time? Blah, 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 blah. Like you know, it's a ne it's a it's a huge negative spiral of it's a huge spiral of negativity, and if you allow yourself to be anywhere near these people, and you call these people your friends, and you're dooming yourself. You're doing yourself, especially if you're in the same room of Brian. That's why I think that you should never show your pride to any people because, in the first place, you avoid that confrontation. Because I mean, that confrontation will come later on anyway. Like, you'll probably have to deal with it anyway. Like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to remind them the years. But they'll never understand. I grind for three years of my life. I was in the trenches. I was streaming really hard and I was gaming really hard and whatever. I didn't even enjoy the game. I just fucking did it because I had to. I was fucking doing this. And you don't understand, bro. But if I can show you. And they like, they might be convinced for a bit. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll really listen to you. But then the, the truth of the situation is they'll go back to the shit habits because the people never fucking change. You cannot change people. Only people can change themselves. People never change, alright? I mean, as I said that from, uh, from the standpoint of a, of a third person, you got the first person, you uh, extrapolating that, I mean, you can never change someone else. The only, that person can only change themselves. And the fact remains is that the majority of people do not change themselves. The majority of people live mundane lives, the majority of people live vicariously through entertainment media, the majority of people live very boring lives. That are, how do I say this? A lot of lives of their own. They live lives of people, their predecessors, especially like parents or friends. Da -da 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 or like um, elders or mentors, they live life that these people tell them. And they don't second guess, they don't think about it, you know, they don't make the moves that they believe is the best. They make moves that everyone tells them to make. You know, that, those are the type of people that will be resentful towards you and your grind. If you are grinding, if you're grinding especially, especially hard, like, I don't know, I can see for myself as well, like, um, with my boy, my uploading videos, for after I'm editing, done, done editing everything, edit, editing on my computer as well, I'm actually hyped up for that, I can't lie, because my fucking work rate is looking good, boys. It's weird, like, I just got off a sweaty session of being a loser gamer, but then, like, my work rate is looking good, like, I'm getting more workouts in, I'm doing this, more that, I, it's weird, but I, I know myself, I cannot balance this for long, like, I'm not a balancer, I know I'll crash at some point, I'll fuck up at some point, so the best move on the chessboard for me is definitely, Definitely, like how I say this, just quit video games and then focus on the grind more. Yeah, I don't know, like, well, uh, that's a separate topic that I'm, f I'm fucking around here with. But people will be jealous and resentful. I don't know, I'm trying to retrace my memories as well, like, but I don't think I'm perfect. I think I made a point and I didn't, like, really extra I didn't extrapolate on that point and I kind of fucked up there. Uh, I kind of just went on a bit of a tangent there. Might, that's not my, um, not my intention, but yeah. I want I, I, the way I make videos is very how I think this. It's very simple. I make a point. I make examples, analogies. That perhaps brings some evidence as well that benefits me. Um, if it doesn't benefit me, then why the fuck would I bring it? But um, cause I mean, as it improved my fucking point, or I can bring real life case studies and stories and. But even if, if even if I did bring like case study the, the, the that benefits me or doesn't benefit me, I put it like in the scare and like wait a minute, this doesn't benefit you, I don't believe you anymore. Or I think that part of usually person usually kinda of, you know, never believe me in the first place. You know, they always second guess, half half hours, half guess. You know. I had a friend before who was who wanted to like get fit because he had gynecomastia and then like he wanted to go to the gym, to the boxing gym with me and I was I was very happy he wanted to come with me. Came for me for like two sessions and he just never came again. But the first session was always the hardest for him because he was just fucking terrified like a pussy. And I was like, I knew how this guy was like, he, he shouted at and I shouted at him and I was like, oh, boy, you can't be a pussy, you can't be a coward. Da -da -da, old man up. Da -da -da -da. And then like, it worked, he was training hard, he was working hard, but soon after, like, communication to window as well. And I was like, I wasn't really impressed with him because I could feel that he was lying to me in some areas and some areas. 
like um, something wasn't right, as if he wanted to prove himself to me. And I, I'll admit the truth of all here, guys. I'm not a perfect specimen. I always stand by the truth because the truth will always prevail, you know? That's why I always try to be more vulnerable almost and truthful. So I'm, I'm saying vulnerable, and, I, and I, I guess this is like a vulnerable practice on this channel, but for the most part, like my biggest insecurity and biggest vulnerability isn't even my physique, because I know I get that in time. It isn't even like my gaming, because I know I'm dropping time. Like I already made reach my goal. Well, how how much more can I get before I fucking like, like drop it entirely? Like, my biggest insecurity is financial. It's all fiscal. It's all money. It's all fucking that type of thing. And once I get enough, I'll show you that I have enough. Like enough to prove myself. And then people will still hate me anyway. It's just weird. Like anything you do, oh, he was lying. He came, come on, my money, daddy, money. I'm literally sleeping on a fucking mattress. My bed, my bed frame broke. <laughs> what the fuck? The, the people will always find a way to hate, and I think that um, keeping a grind on the download is one of the best ways to go about it. You know, what did Robert Greene say in The 48 Laws of Power? What did he say? He said, Think as you are, do as the thing they will some shit like that so you behave like everyone else you're a wolf in sheep's clothing you behave like everyone else but you still think like that wolf you still think like that sigma alpha male wolf I don't know it sounds kind of fucking it sounds kind of homosexual to me and I'm not thinking it's homosexual but Jesus Christ like sigma male like where the fuck did this shit come from like you, you you think as a outlier but you are still acting as a thing as a normal person but you're actually also correlate with that outlier as well as in Everyone else tells you get a job, sure I'll get a job, you work part time, you work a thing, you work a job, okay sure, happy, everyone's happy, everyone's happy, everyone's happy when you get a job, whenever, when you start a business and everyone's unhappy, like, just think on that for a sec, because they don't want you to be successful intrinsically because they, you're in a shadow, you probably couldn't be, that's an irrelevant point, that's also why you should hide your grind, um, you get a job, start doing a business, small side hustle, you start hustle, start making good money, you can go part time now, you work for us, so I was making main, more main income, so I was making a crazy fucking amount of income, you need more of your time, you quit your job for a sec, for a bit, and you tell your boss, you tell your boss honestly, hey boss, I have a business, so I was on the side, and it's something my main income, hey, I, I think I want to make a family in the future, I need to make my financial to set, and I want to pay for the funeral for my grandma, and, blah, 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 and I really love my grandma, I haven't seen her for a while, and um, thing, if I go over here now, I'm going to see her, then I can see her, and quite old now and I think that I want to see her I really really love her please give me the, uh, thing, a good six month uh, 12 month break I know it's a lot I know, it's, I know you could fire me if you feel like you should fire me please fire me um, it's fine I can find another place like, if you're honest like that I have a business I, need to, oh, I want to make more money I need to make more money I think for my family usually they'll understand if they don't understand they're like a cold ruth, ruthless cunning like cunning bastard then they, congratulations you just dodged a bullet like what the fuck like you're in a good spot now if the boss doesn't understand it, and Boss should understand though. No, but, but, but then again, like a boss should, wouldn't understand at some places here, and they would be like, "Oh, they, you know, you're making excuses, uh, Jerry. You're always making excuses. Uh, you just want to work less. You always, you mean working less ever since? It, it, it's possible. It's entirely possible. I'll make the truth. But then again, like, would you rather pursue your own business? I don't know why I'm asking this question, but would you rather pursue your own business and make a fuck ton more money than your job, or continue your job that you hate?" And you're making less money. Like the voice hands. That's what I mean, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. <sighs> Keep it right down low, man. People get jealous, bro. We get fucking jealous. Like whatever around you will get jealous. The boss will get jealous, maybe. I make more money from job now. I make more. I make more per hour. Business. I've been making more up per hour for the last 18 months, and yeah, I, I'm really stacked up with savings. Uh, I'll call you if anything goes wrong. I'll make the truth if anything goes wrong, and say ha ha in my face. I'll make the truth ha ha. Yeah, you can, you can laugh at me. That's wonderful if you can laugh at me. Bro, like, you're laying out on the table, seeming vulnerable. If you're taken advantage of in that moment where you seem vulnerable, like, that person, and you try to manipulate them. That person wasn't there for you in the first place. They're just trying to use you. Like I, I don't know why I have to say this. Even like common sense, but it's the truth. Like if you're if you're telling your boss like I want to make more money to help my family, and it's like it's true. You want to help your family. Like, they're paying bills. Like why the fuck do they have to pay bills? Why does my grandma have to pay bills? I want to pay bills. My grandma's bills. I fucking broke. I want to admit the truth right here. This is the honest truth. Like 
this is not an example by the way, I broke my, my gra three of my grandma's doors, handles, door handles, because I'm used to European doors, you open it hard, then I had to like, slowly adjust and open like this. There's a big door as well. But the handle was fucking made up, nothing. I mean, it's not, everyone started blaming me, and then after that, I just didn't break any hand door handles. And I feel really, really bad, because they have to get new fucking door handles. If I want to just pay for it, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, grandma, I'm sorry, granddad. Yeah, just money. Okay, we'll split. let's let's make it a group activity. Let's come with this thing, let's try to help the builder fix it. Or try to do it by ourselves, and then fix it. Like, money doesn't, money not only solves a lot of issues, it gives you that leeway to just spend more time with people love and just alleviate a lot of the small minor issues you know it's just like if you have a lot of small minor issues gone you have a better inner locus of control in your life like for example if I broke the road I just instantly snap and I'm like you know what fuck it bro here's some money I'm gonna fix your doors if I can't do it myself I'll hire a thing I spent all my day doing that but they said I was a useless cunt and I couldn't do anything so uh, yeah oh is the elevator a bit broken like, that as well that case come on guys like before I'm to go to sleep stupid though because <laughs> it moves like money because uh, I, I think I think it's weird like we live in, a, in we live in a society we live in a world not in a society we live in a world where if you are successful you immediately get ostracized and it's weird man though the hate is always loud than the love and that's the unfortunate truth like people say so love not peace it's usually people that say love not peace love not love peace love not war um love and peace not uh, war requires chaos but those individuals are usually most um, kind of militaristic and aggressive and violent individuals you know what i'm saying if you know what i'm saying Anyway, that's another topic for another video. Yeah, people that if you think have the best interest in you, perhaps even your own mother and your father, once you start making more money than him, like, you, you might be put in a way that I'm like, oh, I can't make more than my dad, I can't make more than my dad. Bro, I have, I didn't have a fucking dad in the first place, my father's cut out of being more than my dad. <laughs> I do not give a fuck, I'm a ruthless bastard, bro. Yeah, I just, um,. I just want to say that piece of the video because I think it's, it's just weird. Like you can't and you can't even sh show off anymore without being able. I, I don't know why. I keep this is my cat. This is my cat first scrubber. I keep acting like it's a Star Wars laser. I don't, I'm fucking. I'm, I'm autistic. Um, you know, people. Anytime we would try to show off our success, for example, like um, a world champion. They even more champion say like for example someone gets a job, that means they're they qualified to provide value to the economy. They're celebrated, that's a very, very celebrated. But if someone gets like a million dollars as an entrepreneur, that's showing off. And I want you to understand that that cost me for a bit instead of brutally hating me. Brutally really hate me. Um how oh, my wisdom to it. I want you to understand that that cost me a bit because like think about it, bro. The amount of money you make as an entrepreneur is directly tied to how much value you provide to the economy. You provide a million dollars worth of um, thing value to the economy within one year, two years, or how it is, one month, two months, something crazy, right? Wait, the founder came up, which is not crazy. And then you're seen as the person who's showing off because you have what other people can't have. Because you have what other people know they could have had they put in the work, but they don't want to. And they live vicariously through entertainment media, other and other venues. This is why there's so many young men out here, like especially in manual and other type of stuff. Like we don't like seeing weak people because when we read manga and manual, like have you ever liked reading a book, uh, a manga or manual or a comic book with a weak protagonist? No, you like re reading with a strong protagonist or the weak to hero, like a zero to hero type of protagonist. We go from nothing to something. We a long trial and I think journey of trial and tribulation and think how do I say this hardship but instead like 
I need to restructure that. We live vicariously through individuals that go from zero to hero, that are strong protagonists, that are, how do I say this, losers, like deep stalks in the beginning of the movie, but then at the end of the movie, he's like Chad with the girl. Like, or he's been up the bully who's, who's a Chad, who looks like a Chad, who's like a perfect jawline and shit, he's tall, handsome, and blonde, and blue eyes and shit, and he's beat him up, fucking Peter, Peter Parker and shit. Ah, oh, okay, you get that flash? Slow motion and shit. Like, yeah, get him! Because we're living vicariously through Peter Parker, because we see ourselves as a geek. That's a triumph. And um, yeah, that's fucking, that's horribly sad. Like, holy shit, man, I'm gonna put these cat, cat cleaning things like that. I, stop. Bro, I'm, I think, yeah, you know them shields in the Mandalorian? You get, you go, and then like the shield, and there's like, like, a, like a Mandalorian pistol. I keep fucking, I'm like, that's cool. Like, I'm, I'm literally a fucking child, bro. <laughs> this is who you're getting advice from. <laughs> I need to chill out, man. Uh, we we live through these. It is true though. Like why I'm saying I admit uh, the truth. I say I admit the truth again. I don't know why. I keep saying I admit the truth. Cause I always I always admit the truth. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. You know, we we live vicariously through these individuals instead of trying to become that individual ourselves, because no one else told us to become this individual. Instead, we're told to consume social media. We're told to consume entertainment media. We're told to consume so many other things that. <laughs> kind of just stunt our growth because we're just so escaped into something else. It's like seeing a person who's like an avid gamer, any professional gamer, they always look like geeks. Not like nerds, they look like geeks, bro. They look perhaps some, some ugly, deformed, skinny, fat. You get the odd occasional one who's like ripped and like gets a bunch of girls and everything, he has gaming as a hobby on the side. But that's a, that's a rare exception. Congratulations, for you. the exception. The majority of professional gamers and gamers in general are very, very talented, out of shape, quite ugly. The, the dichotomy is usually is like, hey, I, I was really addicted to video games before, now I quit video games, now I'm really sad. Wow, look at me, look at me, look, wow, look at me. That, that's the dichotomy, right? And I think that, like, wow, that's a fucking. I just realized that shit. shit like, these people trade their lives to live in a video game. They literally have all, like, but vicarious mode, Vicar I'm gonna call that vicarious mode. That's my, I'm gonna call it in this video, vicarious mode. I should put, a, but maybe I should put like a, a Jeffrey, Jerry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy it. Jerry and Chad. No, Chris and Christopher. Jerry and Chad. Bottom G, top G. No, that's fucking be taken. Shit, man, I think of a name. Um, I'm liking, I'm liking the, the, the Jerry's. Jerry's and Morty's, should I do that? Some shit like that? Nah, that's, that's too fucking. That's fucking. That is literally dick sucking. Like, wow. Um, that's the first time I said I'm so, so strong. I need a moment to think. On the scale of vicarious mode, these esports gamers are living from like people, normal people that play video games on like 75. So they got their job, and then they got the video games, which is a happiness because they've worked their life, etc. Et 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 but on vicarious mode, they're on, they're on like the professional games on like 99.9 or like 100, straight up. Like, the be, like, uh, bare necessities. They're, they're, the reason why a lot of them aren't on 100 because they still pee and poo. In the real world, they still eat in the real world. They still sleep in the real world, and that's it. <laughs> the fuck, they, they, I know that motherfuckers do not getting laid, bro. It's crazy. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. And it's just, it's just like, it's just, a, it's a weird place to be, you know, because my co page for streaming so much is like, oh, I could be a professional streamer, I could be a professional streamer, but like, but how many hours would I need to dedicate to become a professional streamer, man? Too many hours. <laughs> too many hours, man. Uh, yeah, too many. I do respect grind a little bit, though, because there is a job where they do get paid to you know, play video games. That's quite a fun job, but like they, they, all their time is focused on video games, and as they, like, as they're so good at the video games, they get like 20 KDs, and then over half, literally got to 21 KD before I did the quarter thing on it, and they got like 17 KD recently. Sold to Masters in literally 49 games, which is fucking crazy. 
like as people as these people get like 10 KDs, 15 KDs, 17 KDs, and turn them on 4Ks, Predator, etc. stuff, they get everything, they get the whole nine, right? And Call of Duty, I don't know what that is, Golden Gun, Platinum Gun, Diamond Gun, Obsidian Gun, this gun, that gun, as they get that high level into the video game, their real body diminishes, bro. Like, yeah, I thought that's a way they're cutting it, I always thought about it as well, but like, yeah, that's enough of that. I, I feel like my, it's happened to me as well, but that's, you know, that's not this video topic. It's being started with a grind, and I think being started with a grind is very, very powerful, and I think every man, every man should do it. I think I proved my point there. I'm going to play this video. I'm going to edit this video with another video. Because it has ended, but, you know, quite a, quite a lengthy video. Let me do that to you guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Leave me the open, I made it go peace.